up you guys Brandon here and um, just checking out some stuff today kind of following a new format of my videos a little bit longer I hope you guys stay tuned you know throughout the whole video and, you know check out all the great stuff I have to show you guys but um I finally got a Red Hulk one that's you know a Marvel Legends one well this is kind of not really a Marvel Legends one this is the the um the bootleg as everybody kind of knows about the bootleg ones it looks pretty similar you know slight changes and it's a little cheaply made but the paint apps actually make this one look a little bit better than the the regular retailed one the only thing little like extra pieces of plastic right here and I had a hard time with the hands getting them to bend in and out but then you know quick blow dryer technique and some hot water fix that it's pretty decent if you want to take a look at it let's zoom out let's take a look at him by himself and there you go yeah so he's same size pretty much i felt a, a, an original red hulk and it's about the same size those arms are massive and i think he just looks good standing next to the to the to the red she hulk I can finally get some some shots with them together when they were doing that evil thing <laughs> when these guys were bad guys you know or, or becoming good guys I don't know so many heroes so many storylines so many story arcs it's crazy but um but yeah I'm really enjoying it you know um, I got the, the the private message asked me if I wanted a real one, a real Red Hulk, and I was like, I'm not about to pay that eighty, ninety, hundred dollars for it. So somebody else hit me up and was like, Yo, they got them on on sale. And I was like, That's not a sale. It was a knockoff. And then I just thought to myself, Why not get one? I thought about getting two of them just so I could have another one. Or give it to my brother. My brother's a collector as well. But I didn't have enough time. Somebody snagged them. So, what can you do? The hair has some good paint apps, too. It's got some nice silver in there. Mixed in with some black. You know, it's not just a flat black. The pants look kind of cheap. Not on camera, but... Like, not on camera, but if you look at them, they don't... They look kind of faded. Like, if they've been exposed to too much sunlight. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, he's just a big freaking figure. He's a decent size, but as a builder figure, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just kind of, it's kind of weird to see this and think of it as a builder figure when we got things like Giant Man and Sentinel and um, Galactus, you know, which are huge, and then you have other ones that are like this big. But yeah, all right. Catch you in the next one. What's up you guys? Doing a little um Earth's Mightiest Heroes kinda setup. Cause I've been re watching the show. I'm actually watching it right now if you could hear it in the back. It's a freaking amazing show. Had a great cast of characters and an amazing setup. You know, great stories. A couple episodes are kinda meh, but you know. One of my favorite characters in that whole show was Division who came in the second season. Still need like a Miss Marvel and a Hawkeye to finish out this team. And I think, yeah, I think pretty much that was the whole team. But this was a grand, like a fantastic show. One of the 
best Marvel shows out there. I think it, it really competed with like the 90 shows if it had slightly better art. You know? And I picked up this store right here for uh, 30, about 30 bucks. You know, pretty good size. I just wish it was slightly taller. Because, you know, Thor's supposed to be like a god and whatnot. So, you know, I think the Hasbro got the scale right with the, uh, the modern Thor. It's just a little off. I just don't like the Series 3 Thor because it looks like Arnold. <laughs> looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then I got um, Hank Pym right here. And um, his helmet's broken. If you look right there. Kind of see that. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. There you go. Kind of see it. How it's broken. And I was trying to put it on and it kind of cracked on him. So I need an extra helmet. I don't know where I'm going to get one of those from. Go. And I need um, the other wasp, the red version. Just so I can have a little bit more classic look. You know, because I feel like I feel like she works for this team, but she wouldn't work for a classic team. You know, still messing around with this face-off Hulk. I think it's one of my favorite figures right now. Got a picked up um, two um, Hulk dogs. So um, from the movie, I'm gonna try to do a display with those guys, and then I'm gonna tell you. And you guys can tell me what you guys think about that, but. I never really talked about this Iron Man, but I picked it up. It's actually really nice. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about these arms. His arms are a little funny. Easy to, he's, he get. It's hard for him to stand because he got weird, weird leg joints. On mine, I don't know if it's everybody's, but it's, it's a decent, it's a decent Iron Man. I don't know. A lot of people say it's the best one. It's their favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite. I love the attention to detail on it and all that, but I don't think it it's exactly my favorite. But it is up there in my top five, I'll say that. And uh, Captain America, as always. You guys didn't know Captain America is one of my favorite heroes of all time in the Marvel Universe. Um, you know, he's... Um, that's why he's in so many of my displays. Even if he doesn't belong there, I just throw him in there for the sake of it, just because it's Captain America. I want to get um the. Wow, that's a pretty cool shot. <laughs> I want to get the face off Captain America, just so, like, you know, because this one has like the stars. It's basically a variant to the other one, to the ultimate one. And he has all this stuff on his head. You look, there's a long strip running across the top of his head. It's kind of weird. But I do like it. I do like the figure overall. It kind of looks like a combat-ready Captain America. I like the Captain, the uh, the other one's more of a a costume, like you know, superhero. But this one's more of like a realistic take, so I think he fits in more with these guys better than what the face-off cap would or the first series cap. But yeah. All right. So I'm gonna take this display down, I have to take some pictures, and then put up the one with the Hulk dogs and see how I feel about it. Do something a little different. All right. What up, what up, what up? Wanted to show off these Hulk dogs, you know pick these up these go for a pretty penny on ebay i saw one of these go for like 40 bucks and i was like not about to pay that so yeah so i had one already in this one and um it was a little messed up lost the tail it's got no tail but don't kind of miss it you can see the difference so these dogs are huge. <laughs> They're pretty much as tall as a. Um, I guess they're like six, I guess they're like five inches if you do stand them up or something. 
But um, let's compare them to like Captain America so you can see like how tall these guys are. Oh, so Captain America's got his legs kind of open, but you can see that if you put it like this, it really is about as tall as he is. See that? Yeah, so I think it looks pretty badass. Cap standing there with two freaking Hulk dogs. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But yeah, let's take them out. And here, here they are next to the the Hulk, face off Hulk. I want to get a display with them, with these three guys. Maybe some other like side characters, like the leader or something like that. Do some real good stuff. Yeah, so picked this up for ten bucks, which is pretty cool. I think that was back in the day. A little junk in his mouth. He's actually sitting in a drawer. I opened it up. I'm like, hey, I still got this? What? Displayed. <laughs> and I pulled him out. And I found this one. It's badass. A little loose in his leg. Still talks and everything. But I don't remember him making any noises like that. But alright. <sighs> Finally gonna do that display. Gonna get to work on that. Alright. Catch you guys later.